Hello, Dairy Today viewers. On behalf of your Market 360 advisory team here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Tom Ongolvin, and this is your Dairy Week in Review for the week of July 6, 2012. Taking a look at our dairy components on the close here Friday afternoon. Pretty quiet week as far as blocks and barrels were concerned on only four days trading this week with Wednesday the markets being closed for July 4th. Blocks down just a penny this week to 164. Barrels were unchanged. Moving on to butter, slightly higher this week along with whey and non-fat dry milk down slightly. Taking a look at our week Weekly changes for milk, uh, July is now listed as the front month as June fell off the board this week. July down 16 cents to settle at 16.71, August down 10 cents, and September through December up anywhere between 14 and 31 cents this week. Here we can see that block barrel average on a weekly chart. For several weeks prior, uh, we have been watching the 163 resistance level as we can see from the boundaries that we just drew in there. Uh, we have clearly now broken through this resistance and are now trending higher as we can see by this second trend line here. With each one of these bars representing a week's worth of trading, we have been slowly stair-stepping higher and have now broken through that 160 level for the past two weeks. Uh, it was a very quiet week this week uh, and the cheese trade today saw literally no activity whatsoever with no buyers or no sellers. Uh, the block barrel average, as we mentioned, settled at one spot 6575 on Friday. Taking a look at the August contract for milk, we see that the key short term resistance comes in at the highs for the August contract during the month of June. So that comes in at 1770 on the upside. On the downside, we do see some port coming in at 1717, uh, right in this area that we came down to and then bounced off. On Tuesday of this week, we saw the dairy products report come out uh, for the month of May, and we have presented this data in table format, similar to previous months. Taking a look at cheese production for the month of May coming in at 916 million pounds. Uh, we can see that is a 0.4% year over year increase, so pretty much right in line with May of 2011. We'll take a look uh, at that on a chart in just a bit. And down 1.4% month over month, so since April of this year. Moving on to butter, we see 163 million pounds of production. That's up 4.8% from May of 2011 and down 3.8% month over month. And moving on to weigh, just over 86 million pounds of production, down 5.5% year over year and pretty much right in line with last month's numbers. Here you can see the data just one more time before we break away and show you this on a chart for cheese. Taking a look at a total cheese output chart, we can see uh, that 2012 is pretty much following the seasonal patterns from 2011 and 2010 with a spike in March and then falling off into the summer. If I bring in the year over year changes, we can see that we started off the year pretty strong with a 3 to 6% year over year increases, then it fell off slightly with April only up 2.1% and then our most recent data here coming in May just 0.4% higher than 2011, so pretty much right in line. Uh, this is something to keep an eye on for the next month. Taking a look at what we have coming up next week, a couple of catalysts that could move the market. Uh, the grains have continued to rally, although they did sell off today on some profit taking and uh, some fears that there could be some rain in the Corn Belt over the weekend. But on Wednesday morning, coming out at 7.30 uh, in the morning, Central Time, we have an updated USDA report that will show the U.S. and world supply and demand estimates. So this will surely uh, move the grain markets as people will be making their bets before and after that report. Also on Wednesday morning, we'll have the May export data on the dairy side. So a couple of things coming up this week to uh, keep everyone in the loop on as far as what this will do to prices. That will do it for us here. On behalf of your Market360 advisory team here at Stuart Peterson, thank you for watching and have a great weekend.